gosh, when the imposter is dust. That's the wussy. God, I hate myself. I totally didn't hit record like three times on this video and forget that I did. That didn't happen. God, I... God, there's some days where I just draw a blank sometimes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, I may not be the biggest Among Us content creator out there. I don't have a whole team to sit down and play with. But if it's one thing I like is looking at the weird side of the Among Us community. Now, Among Us is a very popular game. If you haven't played it, well... That's up to you, dog. but it has an entire operating system now built onto it, actively maintained, by the way. Now, given since I've looked at Rebecca Black OS and that dumpster fire, I might as well also look at Among Us OS, okay? That's just pretty much what it comes down to, all right? This channel is a shitpost channel at this point. I just look at whatever interests me, dog. and Among Us OS is that casualty for today. Now, all nightmares, like all nightmares, of course, this story starts off on good old-fashioned Reddit. Uh, now, Reddit has a board called Unix Porn, okay? If you've never seen Unix Porn, it's basically a group of Linux Unix users who basically modify or rice their systems to make them, to give them sort of their own customizable feel. And for a lot of cases, they're pretty cool. For instance, this person made the uh, blur theme. So they've got a monitor stacked on top of a monitor, stacked on top of a monitor, stacked on top of a monitor, at least that's how it's presented. And of course, you can see in their tiling manager, they got a pretty good, they got a pretty cool forest theme going on. I'm actually relatively impressed. God damn. Now, if you go down a little bit, one of my favorite ones is this one called Dark Alice. All right, I assume this is from, from Sword Art Online or something. All right, I'm not a big anime fan, so I probably committed a sin right there. But it's got this cool red, black, grayish tinge going on to it, and I like the theme. It's a stack, stack, stack monitor setup. Of course, the more and more you go down, this person really loves God of War, so they made their computer look like fucking God of War. And of course, this person... I don't know if that's Rule 34 of Splatoon, so I don't, I don't know if I committed a federal crime right there, but hey, ladies and gentlemen, today's rice that we're looking at is Among Us. Among Us is complete. Now, of course, this is an idea somebody got by a, by another user, but as you can see, it's a it's the Among Us operating system. And from what it looks like, it's a daily driver Among Us operating system. They got a cute wallpaper. They've even got an amazing profile for their Linux system right here. So Among Us literally called Omogust, <laughs> based on HP 250, they got their notebook PC running it, with ATI Radeon HD graphics and Intel i5, like a growing boy needs, wait, Intel, Sky oh, it's a laptop GPU, Intel HD graphics, of course they're running games like Omogust, <laughs> or sorry, when the imposter is sus, Gary's mod, I hate every time I say sus, I'm not gonna lie, like it burnt, it kills me inside, dude. And then you've got Team Fortress 2, like a healthy Linux user does, and that's pretty much what it comes down to, okay? It's a, it's a, it's, it's a standard Linux system, right? Now, this also inspired other users to create more Among Us-based systems. This guy has a much more cleaner Among Us setup, but then what really blew my fucking mind, what really tickled my pickle, was an actual real operating system based on a Raspberry Pi operating system, okay? So this person got Omogus running on an actual Raspberry Pi 4. Now, this wouldn't be that big of a deal, but y'all know that the community definitely released this onto GitHub. And that's where this nightmare shifts. GitHub, where anybody can post whatever they want, whatever code. This code in question is Omogus, which is inspired by Raspberry Pi, right? Now it's got two contributors, God bless, and it's an actual operating system inspired Inspired by that Reddit post. Yes, Among Us is so popular now, there is an actively maintained operating system for it. God bless. Now, what does it feature? It features says <laughs> custom wallpaper and start menu icon, Winebox86 pre-installed for x86 Windows emulation, meaning you can play Among Us, but apparently Among Us will run at 5 FPS on multiplayer play. We'll look at that in a second too, audience. God damn. Now, I was actually going to install this on a, on a real Raspberry Pi, but uh, my Raspberry Pi broke. Um, it's a real embarrassing story. I tried to do something stupid with it, and I don't want to get into it because I know you all are going to laugh, but I wanted to show you what this entire community is coming up with. Now, 21 days ago, they released Amogus OS version 1.0.0, all right? The version that we're looking at, okay? Because the other versions refuse to boot underneath a virtual machine that I've set up. Now, of course, they've got their initial build, all that nonsense, then they have Among Us 1.1. But please use release 1.2, this build has broken fstep files and will not boot. Why release it then? God damn. Don't worry, version 1.2 came by to hopefully 
<laughs> that's that's real fucking promising, by the way. I love when a patch note has the word hopefully into it. Jesus. Fixed boot failure in 1.1. Okay, hopefully it got fixed. But they hit a secret Easter egg. Unfortunately, I won't be able to see because I can't boot into 1.2. Then we've got 1.3. Then we've got a little bit more of a sussy wussy character introduced. I don't know who this is. Uh, it's Amphibia. All right, that's the new sus, I guess. And then uh, we've got 1.32 hotfix. God bless indeed. Among Us is there. Now, the interesting thing in this entire scenario was running this underneath an actual virtual machine. Now, for those of you who have no idea what we're actually about to do right now, this is something that runs exclusively on an ARM processor, okay? If you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, let me just educate you. This is a Raspberry Pi, okay? Basically, it's a little ARM-based like board that you buy that you can just run stuff off of, right? Um, think about like when you buy a big like arcade, like a retro pie arcade, like you can buy these big arcade cabinets. They very usually have a monitor attached to this actual board that is emulating games like Game Boy Advance, SNES, NES, whatever you want to call it. It's a great little board to have. You can do a lot with it. Now to understand, I had to go to a place called QEMU to help emulate this. If you don't know what QEMU is, I want you to remember when we made all those virtual machine gaming set of videos, I was using something called QEMU dash KVM, meaning that I use QEMU to emulate that virtual machine, but I used a KVM system, all right, the Linux built-in KVM to pass through a graphic card. This is just the QEMU machine emulator side of things, right? So basically I installed it and boom, we had Omogus. Not like that, of course. There's an entire folder with a bunch of files where I've been testing around gigabytes upon gigabytes of sus. Now to understand, we had to create this little uh, batch file at this point, so I'm gonna show you real quick. Now we had to create this batch file real quick that would communicate to QEMU system-arm, again, ARM-based processor. I named it Omogus. I gave it this kernel QEMU, which is what it needed. Uh, CPU is ARM 1176, 256 megs of RAM. For some reason, going above this crashes the whole bastard. Then I had to feed the dry file in this way, and that's pretty much what it came down to. And last but not least, we had Omogus. All right, so here we got Among Us, the operating system, which in all its glory looks pretty goddamn beta to me, okay? This looks like Windows XP with the olive skin attached to it. Now, if we open up Among Us, you can see that, ooh, it's not exactly responsive. And if I open up System Tools real quick and just go to something like the Task Manager, you can see that this system is always taxed because it is it just does not have a lot to work with. It is 256 megabytes of memory. To understand, you can't even web browse browse using chromium with this okay unless i find like a really low tier browser or i start browsing through a terminal it ain't doing much of course you can see it it just it just loads infinitely so give it a minute all right give 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 grandpa among us a minute to catch up all right so of course you can see grandpa among us is currently sitting at 100 percent cpu usage which is fucking expected i mean granted opening an application alone causes the system to nearly die and shit itself yeah half of the ram is being used about 130 31 megabytes, okay? Uh, by Linux standards, that's not a lot. By this virtual machine standards, it's half of its memory just sitting idling around. Now, of course, if you do NeoFetch to, you know, get an idea of what the system is, not only does it take an astronomically long time to query, but here we got a little bit of SUS, which is the ASCII art that you can, you can actually implement this onto your own Linux system anyways, okay? Now, of course, it's running on ARM Versatile PB, the VM that we're giving it. It's using LXDE, which is a pretty lightweight distro. Uh, sorry, desktop environment, and then it's using OpenBox. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it, it is pretty much what it is. It's Among Us, right? It, it's that's the operating system. Now you can use something like apt install, like Steam Link, if you will, right? And ooh, what's going on? Are you root? Sorry, sudo apt install Steam Link, and through this, let's say that you were actually on a real Raspberry Pi, you could actually stream uh, something like Among Us to your Raspberry Pi. So in a way, you could stream Among Us gameplay to Among Us, right? I mean, that's that's the theoretical side of things, you know? But we're not going to be able to do it in this virtual machine because it has no graphic memory whatsoever. This thing is nearly about to fucking die.
Now, to understand audience, can you game off of this? Well, installing it into a real actual Raspberry Pi would probably net you the ability, if using Wine, to start running video games. I want you to understand, a Raspberry Pi is not exactly the best gaming computer on the market. So, games like Among Us, regardless of how low they are in terms of graphical requirements, will actually run at around 5 frames per second. Not just because of its visuals, but because it's actually converting x86 code to ARM, and that's just not easily done, all right? Even on so even on hardware like the new MacBooks, they actually have portions of real actual uh, translators, physical hardware, on the actual processor to assist those translations. So in a real Raspberry Pi setting, Among Us would look like this, like exactly the footage that you're seeing, fucking unplayable. And given the fact that it is on Linux of all systems, Among Us has anti-cheat, meaning that even if you got Among Us to run on Linux, uh, the anti-cheat would basically trip and you wouldn't be able to play with anyone. So unless you're comfortable playing with yourself, which I guess most people on this channel are, me included, then yeah, I guess it's a fucking great option. But if you actually wanted to play a real hardcore match of competitive Among Us, it's not happening underneath Among Us, which is a damn shame if you ask me. But if you're just using the system to browse and do some light work, then you know what? Among Us is pretty is a actual usable operating system. Had this existed on an actual x86 build, meaning that you could just burn this onto an actual flash drive, install it on your system, and if this was actively maintained, you could actually use Among Us as an actual operating system to play games on, edit some videos, browse the web, do whatever you want. You could actually use Among Us for real, okay? This is the beauty of Linux, and this is where we're going going to go on to in the final act of this video. So I just want the audience to know it's been like seven minutes and this thing still hasn't installed this application. Kill it, all right? Like, it's time, it's time to end it, all right? It's time to end the suffering, shit. Now, you may be wondering, whoa, what is this nonsense I'm looking at on the screen? Can you decipher? Trust me, I'll walk you through it. Now, of course, if you look at the top, it goes from 1992 to 2022, okay? This is a complete map breakdown of fucking Linux distributions. Now, Linux is a kernel that is open source and it comes in multiple flavors, right? You can take the Linux kernel, modify it, and release it, provided you also provide the source code you modified to your heart's content, okay? Now, I'm an Arch Linux user, okay? I feel like I have to state that every time I mention Linux is the Arch code, but Arch is just one of many different types of Linux. In fact, if you look at it, Linux comes in the SLS from 1992, which then became Slackware Linux, and that has been running to this day, okay? Slackware has evolved into SUS, which died at some point, or no, sorry, later jumped into... Wait, go all the way down, go all the way down, go all the way down to its own SUS compliant based off of Jurix and then runs to this day, okay? Now, actually, SUS would have been, that would have been a great backend for that. They could have called it Open SUS at this point. Uh, they also have Slackware turning into something called Salix, Kongoni, Wi Fi Way, Draco. Do you think I know any of these? Fuck no. This is the first time I've ever heard of them. But that became a million different things. Now, Debian is one that I showed you a while ago. This is my first time that I made a, um, on Virus Investigations, where I made a gaming virtual machine off of Debian. Debian is still popular to this day. In fact, Debian has created things like Deepin, Endless OS, Robo Linux, Steam OS, Steam's actual operating system. And then Debian also evolved into something called Corel. And then all the way down, you get to Arch Linux, which is a relatively small branch, but you can still see that there's a shit ton of Arch based Linux distributions out there. Then these are the distributions that sort of struck out on their own and died somewhere in like the early 2000s. In fact, very lately, you have Android, which was made in 2000 seven going strong to this day in fact it's created other things like android wear lineage os android x86 if you wanted to run it on your actual computer so as you can see linux comes in a million flavors and some of them die some of them stay the path of evolution but that's pretty much what you're looking at i mean i've never heard of operating systems like netrunner for instance but they look pretty cool heck i didn't even know ubuntu had a muslim edition too so it's keeping itself pretty halal as well but you know all in all, ladies and gentlemen, one thing to understand is Among Us could actually be its own surprisingly usable operating system. And I guess maybe this video had a weird educational horror side to it, edge horror, if you will. Ladies and gentlemen, I installed Among Us to my system. Is it a usable system? 
Depends on who you are, but for most people, I think it can, I think your grandma could use a Mogus and not give a crap, honestly. But ladies and gentlemen, that was it. Uh, I know this video might not have been sus enough for a lot of you. Maybe I got dry in the middle of it. But when you have me talking about computers, virtual machines, and operating systems, boy, oh boy, a side of me sparks up like no tomorrow. If you found this video uh, sus, <laughs> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Or dislike it if you dislike, especially after that last fucking outburst. This is me, Mudahar, and I am sus.